Hey everyone, today we're going to be having a look at some leaks that have made their way online through Reddit. These leaks involve Star Wars Episode 9, which is still untitled. If you don't want to see anything related to Episode 9 that you might consider spoilers, then uh, I would say, you know, head on out of here now. Um, most of these images to me don't really look like spoilers. I think we're going to see a lot of these images in terms of figures and merchandise. So uh, I'm not really concerned about these being spoilers, but if you don't want to see anything that's understandable, um, just head out of the video. But um, these images, looking at Reddit here, were provided by Jedi Paxis, who says that they came courtesy of a source. And um, they're pretty interesting. Uh, these definitely seem to be legitimate. And uh, we have some images that have descriptions of what exactly we are seeing. So basically what I want to do here is run through the images and then uh, look at the captions that indicate what we're looking at and just kind of talk a little bit about what we're seeing here. So if we start at the very top. Uh, you'll have letter A. It says that this is a new alien concept art. Um, I mean, it basically just looks like a new crazy looking alien. Doesn't look like something that's too far-fetched for J.J. Abrams. Uh, it kind of looks a little bit dark crystal-y, kind of something from the 80s, uh, Jim Henson almost. Um, yeah, this would have felt really at home in The Force Awakens. Uh, looking at B, it says, this is a new droid that will annoy BB-8. Okay. Um, so it's interesting. I mean, it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of WA-7 from Attack of the Clones, which of course was the a bartender droid in Dex's diner and um, it looks what it has like to be like a megaphone sort of thing for a head and I guess it rolls around on one wheel kind of like a monocycle or something so I'm not sure how I feel about this design personally um, but hey it's, it's a new droid uh, I don't know how big it's going to be but uh, I'm sure it'll make a fun little toy or accessory or something uh, looking at C it says this is a Richard E. Grant as first order officer um, I mean, nothing really new. We've seen a bunch of First Order officers in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, so um, nothing too exciting there. Looking at D, it says that this is a resistance soldier. Uh, this is concept art rather than an actual photo. Um, I, I kind of don't mind that. I mean, I think it looks a little boring, honestly, but it, it's not too far-fetched from uh, the Rebel Troopers in the original trilogy uh, in A New Hope. And it kind of looks a little bit like the Ralph McQuarrie concept art for the Rebel Troopers. So I can see where they might have taken that influence. Um, but it, it's not really that exciting, which, you know, of course, is a huge problem in the sequel trilogy as far as designs go. A lot of them just aren't that exciting. Uh, looking at E, uh, Dominique Monaghan as a resistance officer. So, of course, uh, from the Lord of the Rings, Dominique Monaghan, he's going to be in the film and uh, I guess he's in the resistance, we know now from these photos. Letter F says that this is a new alien. This is concept art. Uh, again, kind of looks like something we might have seen in The Force Awakens. I mean, it, it's a new design, obviously, but um, you know, it has that very Force Awakens sort of aesthetic to it. So um, it's not a bad design, honestly, um, but it's not that new either. It, it feels very familiar. Uh, moving on to G, it says this is a young Mon Cal, same species, of course, as uh, Admiral Akbar, the Mon Calamari. And um, it's an interesting look. I don't remember if we saw young Mon Cal's in uh, the Clone Wars or in Rebels. Uh, I know we saw them quite a bit in Clone Wars, but I don't know if we saw actually young versions. If we did, I don't really remember them looking like this. I just kind of felt like they looked more like younger versions of Admiral Akbar. Um, but this definitely does look a little bit unique um, and you know it could just be a thing with the species some of them look a little bit different uh, the outfit looks interesting it's got like a checkerboard of vintage looking colors on its chest so here's the interesting ones we move on to Ray uh, letter H and um, this looks very much like Ray looked in The Force Awakens the description says that Ray is wearing white which is pretty obvious from the photo and um, I mean, it, it really looks almost exactly like what she had in The Force Awakens. Uh, maybe the belt is a little bit more similar to The Last Jedi, but uh, the outfit itself with the armbands and the style of the tunic and uh, the v-neck of her shirt uh, and the boots and everything, even she's got the capris. I mean, that just looks very much like The Force Awakens. So uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more in just a second. But first, I want to get through this list. We move on to letter I. It says hooded Kylo Ren. And um, 
it, it basically looks like the last Jedi Kylo Ren with a hood uh, for his cape. So um, basically the cape that he had, I guess, in The Last Jedi, but with a hood built into it. And with the helmet back, uh, Letter J actually says this is Kylo's repaired helmet. So uh, he actually repaired his helmet for who knows why. We move on to Letter K and we see Poe Dameron. Uh, Poe Dameron has a new costume, it looks like. I don't know if this will be his only costume, um, but it is an interesting one. It lists it as Adventure Poe which is a very apt description <laughs> looking at the image here. And um, I mean, I kind of dig it. it. It looks a little bit earthy. It looks a little Indiana Jones, but um, not bad. I think I actually like it better than his uh, The Last Jedi costume. Uh, letter L, it says that that is a new alien mask that is unfinished. Um, again, looks very sequel trilogy-esque. Doesn't really do anything for me. Hopefully the final product is better. Letter M is a horned pilot. Uh, I guess this is a new character design for a pilot of some sort. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, I don't really mind it all that much. Uh, letter N, new alien concept art. To me, this looks a little bit like uh, one of those characters you see with the Cloud Riders in Solo, a Star Wars story. Um, you see when they unmask themselves uh, towards the end of the film. Um, I, I kind of feel like one of the aliens looked a little bit like that. Letter O. This is a cool one, Old Lando. <laughs> and um, I like it. I mean, it, he's got a yellow shirt on, he's got a black cape, black pants and boots. Um, the shirt is very similar in color and in terms of design to what Lando wore in Solo. So um, definitely getting Donald Glover Lando vibes from this costume, which I don't know if that was the intent or not. I mean, I've, it looks too on the nose to not be the intent. Um, I'm not sure if they should have done that much of a ripoff of that costume of those colors, but I think it looks good. I mean, maybe I would have gone for like an orange or something just a little bit different, but I don't really mind them trying to tie it to uh, Solo. So this will be cool. I'm really excited about Lando coming back. Uh, letter P, it says these are new alien costumes. And um, yeah, I mean, that's basically what they look like. Uh, very slender looking aliens. Uh, we don't really see heads on these because these are just, I assume they're on mannequins and we're just seeing the costumes, um, but they're colorful. And uh, this is probably the sort of thing you, you'll see in the background, uh, you know, where the characters are just going about their business and there's aliens in the background, I would assume. Uh, and letter Q is just another alien. Again, it has a very Force Awakens sort of look to it. You know, very sci-fi, but not really classic Star Wars, I guess. So let's go back to letter H and letter I and J so we can talk a little bit about Rey and Kylo. Now, uh, I was really hoping that we would get something completely different with Rey. And again, this isn't to say this is going to be the only outfit she wears in the entire film. I mean, I would expect that maybe she'll wear, you know, a couple of outfits. Um, but this, again, is very similar to what she has in The Force Awakens, which wasn't too dissimilar to what she had in The Last Jedi, but this definitely feels more like Force Awakens than Last Jedi to me. Uh, the hair, we don't really get a good look at it. I mean, I've tried to enhance these images just a little bit, but it does look like maybe the style is going to be similar to The Force Awakens. Um, I kind of would like to see Rey in more of like a pilot sort of outfit, like a, an X-Wing pilot or, um, you know, just something that looks a little bit more classic, maybe like Jaina Solo, you know, more of a uniform type outfit but I mean this isn't awful it just doesn't really offer anything new and especially when you think about the merchandise uh, it really doesn't offer a whole lot that previous Ray figures uh, didn't so I mean I'm not completely ecstatic about it but they clearly wanted to tie back to Force Awakens and the fact that it's white uh, is probably going to have some symbolic uh, reference to where Ray is in this film now of course uh, Ray's been a light side character throughout the uh, sequel trilogy so far. Uh, she did get her dark side temptation in The Last Jedi. Kylo offered her a place in the story and she declined. Um, so I don't think we're going to see Ray dealing with the dark side. I think this is meant to symbolize that Ray is, you know, a good guy. She's not going to be tempted at this point. Um, she's clearly you know, wearing white and, you know, that's for a reason. And then we have Kylo who, looking at the mask, the way that it's repaired, um, you see that it has like this red bonding material or something that, you know, it's very vibrant 
sort of material that's holding the mask together. It gives Kylo a more corrupted look, and I kind of feel like that's the intent that offers quite a dichotomy from what we see with Rey, who's in white. Kylo's looking, you know, he's all in black. Uh, his helmet's giving him this more corrupted look, so maybe he's at a place where he's firmly in the dark side. He's not confused. Uh, he's actually being corrupted by the dark side, maybe. Uh, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting just looking at this image here and these images of Kylo's costume. Um, but I do like Kylo's look overall. I mean, it, it definitely blends The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi quite well. Um, I'm not completely stoked on him wearing the helmet again. I kind of was hoping that, you know, they could just move away from that. But uh, clearly there's some reason that, uh, you know, he needs to wear the helmet. And uh, hopefully that'll be revealed in the film. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll not get like a non-answer for that. You know, I, I kind of like to see why he's wearing the helmet again. Because we know why he broke it in The Last Jedi. But... Um, I want to know why he decided to glue it back together or whatever. You can also see he has the same lightsaber hilt there in his uh, grip. So I guess we can expect that. But yeah, I mean, these are looking um, pretty much as expected, I would say. Uh, I was hoping for a little bit more color. I was hoping for a little bit more uh, visual intrigue, particularly with Rey and maybe to a lesser extent with Kylo. But I'm sure we're going to see more as we move closer to episode nine being released uh, later this year. Um, if you guys like this sort of video and you like the breakdown of, uh, you know, this sort of thing, going through the costumes and the leaks, let me know. I'm not opposed to uh, covering more of them. Uh, of course, I'm kind of sort of trying to avoid spoilers myself. But, you know, for little things like this that don't really, in my opinion, that aren't really spoilers. Uh, I don't mind covering them a little bit more. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about these costume designs, where you think these characters are going to be at this point in the sequel trilogy, uh, in the story. Really curious to hear you guys' thoughts. And uh, based on what I hear, maybe we'll try and do another video about this or we'll follow it up somehow once more information uh, trickles its way out. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed, give us a like, subscribe, share the video with your friends. And uh, be sure you're following on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter where you're going to get the latest news and updates. Until next time, bye-bye.